Hello friends and enemies. So somehow now uh, it is believed by by some that uh, well sin is not a crime. Yet is it not sin that begets crime? For a crime would not be committed if it was not for sin. Yet it is said that this man committed adultery and uh, they are saying that oh well he committed a sin but he did not commit a crime. In the minds of man The minds of man have twisted the reality of, of God, the Creator. Because a crime would not be committed if it was not for sin. Whether it is adultery or lying or murder or stealing, all those are crimes that are committed because of sin. When an individual or a group of people steal something, it is considered a crime. But when a government steals from its citizens, somehow then it is not a crime. When an individual lies in a court, it is called perjury and it is punishable by a fine and imprisonment. Yet, one can lie outside of a court and in most cases you will not be punished. But yet in the Creator's eyes it is still a sin. And in the Creator's eyes a sin is a crime. A lie is the same as murder Adultery is the same as stealing. In the Creator's eyes, all sin, all crime is punishable by death. But in man's so-called reality, sin is not a crime. Don't they have it twisted? Man's reality, man's, man's way of thinking is, is twisted and wrong when they say that sin is not a crime. Yet, how can there be crime if it was not for sin? Adultery is a crime. In the Bible, Adultery is a crime. And even in the law of men, adultery is a crime. Yet, some would say that it is just a sin. They would say lying is just a sin. But if you do it in man's court, then it is a crime. So, I guess God's jurisdiction is not as important as man's, according to man's wicked way of thinking. That is interesting, that sin is not a crime, yet... 
you got to comprehend that without sin, there would be no crime. Without sin, there would be no crime. Believe less and think more. Believe less and think more. Believe less and think more.